for this day. For this hour of worship. Thank you. For your loving kindness. For the multitude of your tender mercies. We come again, Lord, to worship. We have a couple of concerns that we will raise up. Please, oh Lord, touch Sister Lena Bullington, oh Lord. We know you're able. Brother William Gay, we know you're able. Sister Gloria Crockett, but have thine own way. Let the charge Jones. Heal the Lord to be your best in here. And I want to become your word and ask you to continue to be judged. We have a wonderful Lord, Sister Gloria Jones. Touch her to the Lord. We ask you to continue to take charge and pray. And have thine own way. For you are the positive. With just your plan. Shape us, Lord, and then hold us in your own special way. And fill us with your spirit. And empower us to live in such a manner that you'll get all the glory out of each of our souls. I'm proud now that you will hide your servant, your work behind the cross. And allow your children to see more of me and less of me. And may the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart. Be acceptable in my sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Let the heart say, Amen. 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 And the dog, don't mind, put a great big old hand for our chair, brother. Keep it down. Hallelujah. We're so glad to see you, brother, too. Brought to him from the dinner house, clap your hand. Get ready to read, clap your hand. And, and we just pray, God, for each and every one of y'all. Visit to us and friends. We thank God that you're here today because, and, and I'll try to be brief as we sing and pray to us, but I do want to say a few words that the Lord has given us. From the record of Mark, chapter 9, which is 14 through 29, reading from the original King James text, Mark 9, 14 through 29. Again, reading from the King James original text, and it reads as follows. In 14. And when he came to his disciples, he saw a great multitude about him and the scribes questioning him with him. And straightway all the people, when they beheld him, were greatly amazed and running to him, saluted him. And he asked the scribes, What question ye with him? And one of the multitude answered and said, Master, I have brought unto thee my son, which had a dumb spirit. And wheresoever he taketh him, he tarried him, and he foamed, and he gnashed with his teeth, and pounded away. And I spake to thy disciples, I spoke to your disciples, that they should cast him out, and they could not. He answered him and said, O faithless generation, how long shall I? Be with you. How long shall I suffer you? Bring him unto me. And they brought him unto him. When he saw him, straightway the spirit tarried him, and he fell on the ground and wallowed from him. And they asked his father, How long is it, it ago since this came upon him? Unto him. And he said, Of a child. And oftentimes it has cast him into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, but if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, if thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believe. And straightway the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe. Help thy mind unbelief. And when Jesus saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the foul spirit, saying unto him, Thou dumb and deaf spirit, I charge thee, I command thee, come out of him and enter no more into him. And the spirit cried and rent him sore and came out of him. And he was as one dead, and as much that many said, He is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he arose. 
And when he was coming to the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could not we cast him out? And he said unto them, This time can come forth by nothing but by prayer and fasting. Thank you, baby. See it. Those verses in mind, and perhaps other passages of scripture that the Spirit gives us others. One, look at the very first verse. Verse 14. I'll start with that verse. And when he came to his disciples, he saw a great multitude about them, and the scribes questioning with them. I want to speak this morning on the subject, how to handle your critics. You see, if you are known among people as a person, who lives by faith. Mm -hmm. There's always someone out there right. watching uh -huh. to see how you react yeah. right. when things don't go your way. Right. They want to see what happens mm -hmm. when we face death. And all of us do it one time or other. Uh -huh. Doesn't matter how many good things you accomplish uh -huh. through your work of faith. They don't talk much about that. All right. But when you say it, yeah. everybody, everybody got something to say. Amen. When you're doing good works and good things, they'll talk about you in private. All right. But when you say it, everybody goes public. Right. Facebook, Twitter, you name it. All right. Television station. It's true in the text. If you're a good father, when you know that at this point in these disciples' ministry, Jesus has sent them out two by two. And they had cast out demons before. They had healed the sick before. They had run miracles before. And it wasn't much said about it, but when they couldn't get that demon out of that boy, everybody had something to say. To put this in context, this occurred immediately after Jesus was transfigured up on the mountain with Peter, James, and John and Moses and Elijah. Amen. And mountain top experiences are wonderful. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We need them from time to time Amen. for spiritual nourishment. Uh -huh. I love being up on the mountain top with just two or three believers right. and everything right. going well. Yeah. It, that's where it was. Uh -huh. Jesus up there with his three main disciples in his inner circle uh -huh. and has transformed himself before they had been transformed before they and they have even seen Moses and Elijah Peter said, Lord, this is good to have a deal. We can't have a deal. Yeah, my Lord. On the mountain top. Mm -hmm. It's good. When we are on the mountain top, surrounded by a few believers. Mm, all right. But God wants us down here in the valley. All right. Preaching and ministering to people yeah. Yeah. who are hurting and suffering. Yeah. Oh, we can praise and worship right. on the mountain top. That's good for us. But after you receive this spiritual nourishment, we must come down in the valley and get to work. And that could be one of the big problems that we face today. We're not having enough mountaintop experiences, so we are almost a known effect down in the valley. We now know because our behavior, our societal behavior is becoming, this going from bad to work. We're fighting over just about anything and everything that has no real meaning of that. Uh -huh. And it's one thing we just fight when we go from fighting and shooting to like a Porsche go from zero to a right. <laughs> That's a spiritual problem. Uh -huh. Because we're not spending enough time up on the mountain that we don't have the spiritual nourishment that we need to go down and minister to people suffering. Right. Isn't that? That's what we try to do it on our own. And that's the real secret of having your critics because that's I me. Mean, having your critics because that's I told you. All right. You must stay connected to Jesus. All right. All right. Jesus is on the mountain top. Yeah. With those people I just named. The disciples down in the valley trying to do some work that they had done before. Well, right. well. But you see, that power has to come from Jesus. Amen. That power of what you did in the past. All right. It has to come. You have to stay connected to Jesus in order to. Successfully handle 
your quick. All right. Yeah, we are God's angels of his redemptive love. In other words, the people don't experience Christ sometimes they're not us. Some folks may not ever experience him at all. All right. All right. Yeah. Right. Man. We, we, we are this way gives us when we go to people a picture of God's promise uh -huh. as well as his presence. Yeah. He said, I'll be with the all way. All right. Yeah. If you stay connected, I'll be with the all way. Right. Even to the end of the world. Uh -huh. And when we forget this, we open up ourselves to all kinds of difficulties. We're trying to do things our way. All right. We're trying to make all our own decisions. Uh -huh. We're trying to fight our own battles. We open ourselves up to all sorts of difficulties, like the disciples in the text, challenges, and even faith. That's what the disciples discovered in our text today. You see, one of the first thing is we must stay connected to the Lord Jesus when we find ourselves being publicly criticized. You gotta stay connected. People wanted to stay on mountaintop. Uh -huh. But Jesus was headed back down the mountain so he could go to Jerusalem and cross. Uh -huh. People were thinking about Lord uh -huh. and eternal happiness. And that would be the end of for the true believer. But in the meantime, Jesus said, I first got to go down right. and suffer. We hurt those we love. Uh -huh. right. 
And we heard the reputation All right. of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. You don't think about that. There's no victim in this crowd. You ain't heard you say Because no matter how low you try to live, that's somebody that loves you. That's somebody paying your behalf. This is what happens when we don't look to, when we look to ourselves mm -hmm. and stop looking to our need for Jesus Christ. All right. All right. When people come down on us because of our failure, uh -huh. we should point them to the Lord yes. Jesus. Amen. Yes, mm -hmm. I have failed. And yes, I'm in a bad spot. All right. But one thing I know, All right. that Jesus mm -hmm. is going to make it all right. All right. All right. He's going to use my pain yes. and my problem to let somebody can see what he does yes. and give him all the praise. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I can just point to Jesus. It doesn't be bad. It's not going to be bad either. All right. I'm so glad. Because there were like some of us 
They have been close to Jesus. Uh -huh. But they still fully understand what it meant to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. They still had too much iron. All right. Too much men. You know, they still don't know who's going to be the greatest. And those same problems play in the church today. Mm -hmm. We're going to serve Jesus, but the problem is we still got too much iron. All right. Too much me. Yeah. We missed that problem and said, if any man right. will be in Christ, right. let him burn. Mm. 
generation. He expressed his weariness and his exasperation by asking rhetorical questions. How long will I be with you? How long must I put up with you? William Wayne is a commentator who said this. The rhetorical questions express the loneliness and the anguish of are the only authentic believer in a world that expresses only unbelief. All right. Did y'all get that? All right. The rhetorical questions express the loneliness and the anguish of the one authentic believer in a world that expresses only unbelief. Can't lay hands on folks. 
So it's not the depth of our faith, it is the direction of our faith. What is important is not the potency of our faith, but listen, it's the person our faith is in. It's not the potency of you got power, you really love Jesus. If the spirit is in you, it's not the person. It's not that. The, the, the potency is the person. Not the preacher. Not the deacon. Not the little man. Christ. That's the person. And it is on faith. In a great faith. Can accomplish much. Amen. This is little faith. A faith that does not forget about all the physical circumstances and all the other adversaries and obstacles that we face. Forget about all that. And just have faith in Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh, Lamb of God, I come. Just a little faith in a great Savior can accomplish much. The key thing is, as I said earlier, we got to be moving. In the right direction. Amen. The Bible says, soon as the demon saw Jesus, All right. he started acting up. As oh, soon as he saw Jesus, he threw another attack on the boy. All right. Now I said, he convulsed the boy. Mm -hmm. This poor boy My had been tortured by this demon since he was a child. And sometimes he had been near death. Out of desperation, uh, the father turned to the only possible source of hope. Right. None other than Jesus of Nazareth. Yeah. Yeah. I can hear a man begging Jesus. Uh, Jesus, how long uh, has it been mm -hmm. in this situation? Uh, ever since uh, he was a child, I can hear a man say, Here, yeah. Master.
ain't going to depend on him. The problem is never with divine ability. God created the whole world and then made man in his own age. There's no problem that can happen to a man in his world that God can fix if he wants to. There's no problem with divine ability. My God can do. Just like they said in the song, God said. God said. God said. I believe it. And that's the truth of the matter. The problem is with human. I, 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 the spirit is guiding me toward it. I'm trained for it. I'm aiming for it. The something inside keeps saying, well, I'm not worried. Well, the truth is not worried. I'm not worried. But if God <laughs> said it, and if you beat it, it can happen with that. Let me know what happened yesterday. It can happen with that. But you got to. You just got to believe. Amen. Mm hmm. But well, here it is. There is a bridge. I'm about to get out your way. I'm going to see it. There's a bridge. Between human weakness on the one hand and the divine power of God on the other. That bridge is called faith. It's called trust. And it's called dependency. If you can do that, God can do it for you. That bridge is called faith. The source is a thing hope for. Evidence of things. I'm putting the matter in God's hand. I'm going to let him All work right. it out. On high dependency. I've learned right. to leave and depend right. on the Lord. Yeah. I heard the man say, hey, uh, I do uh, believe uh, yeah. the Lord. Uh, my faith is weak. Yeah. I've been let down so many times. Uh, I've been deep down almost to the ground. Huh? Hey. I've had some good days. Huh? Right. And Lord, I hope I have some bad days. Huh? Hey. I've had some years huh? that I have to climb. Huh? Hey. My faith uh, huh? is weak. Huh? Hey. A little incomplete. Huh? Hey. But still, huh? I trust in you. Hey. Huh? Lord Jesus, huh? hey. I believe. Huh? Hey. But I need you to help. Huh?
Servant of God, we are the wisdom and love and blood. For the battle is fought and the victory is won. Enter the pastor's joy. Come on, servant. You've been faithful over a few times. Come on, I'm going to hire you. I am going to make you rule over me. Do it, little story. We're so glad and careful to see that you get all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. And it's in the night of the This is my last name. For your love and son, Jesus, so the hands of the Christ, and we do pray. Now, may he praise and love of God. And as we can really know him, we love Holy Spirit. May he pray. And may he rule and abide in each one of us here for a while forever. And may the heart sound together. Oh! Thank <laughs> you.